pornography, incest, and immorality in the Bible. The Bible contains pornographic imagery, rape, bestiality, and immorality unsuitable for children. The so-called inspired word of God contains filthy incest stories depicted within close kinship relationships. Just look at these verses in the Bible. Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 20 states, There she lusted after her lovers, whose genitals were like those of donkeys, and whose emission was like that of horses. Song of Solomon chapter 5 verse 4 states, My beloved put in his hand by the hole of the door, and my bowels were moved for him. 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 27 states, but Rabshakeh said unto them, Hath my master sent me to thy master, and to thee to speak these words? Hath not he sent me unto the men who sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung, and drink their own piss with you? How can God, who is all pure, write such things? The Bible shares a false story of the prophet Lot, peace be upon him, and his two daughters in a mountain cave. According to the Bible, the older daughter told the younger one that their father was aging. Therefore, they should get him drunk and sleep with him to preserve the family line. So, they slept with him and had his babies. That is right, the Bible also contains incest. Lot and his two daughters left Zoar and settled in the mountains, for he was afraid to stay in Zoar. He and his two daughters lived in a cave. One day, the older daughter said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is no man around here to give us children, as is the custom all over the earth. Let us get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him, and preserve our family line through our father. Genesis chapter 19 verse 30 and onwards. In another verse, Judah, the father of the Jewish state and namesake of the Jews, slept with his daughter-in-law and begot a daughter with her. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a prostitute, for she had covered her face. Not realizing that she was his daughter-in-law, he went over to her by the roadside and said, Come now, let me sleep with you. And what will you give me to sleep with you? she asked. Genesis chapter 38 verse 15 and onward. Another Bible verse references Reuben, the firstborn of the prophet Jacob, peace be upon him, who supposedly had sexual intercourse with Bilhah, his father's concubine. While Israel was living in that region, Reuben went in and slept with his father's concubine Bilhah, and Israel heard of it. Genesis chapter 35 verse 22. 2 Samuel chapter 13 verse 5 and onwards shares a story about a brother raping his sister. But when she took it to him to eat, he grabbed her and said, Come to bed with me, my sister. No, my brother, she said unto him, Don't force me. Such a thing should not be done in Israel. Don't do this wicked thing. 2 Samuel chapter 13 verses 11 and 12. What prurient stories. The Bible also paints a picture of God, the all-merciful, deceiving people, telling them to lie and rewarding them for it. The Bible also illustrates acts of God rewarding transgressors and those who steal. It is blasphemy to say such things about God, the all-merciful, and the all-just. These are not the word of God, as God is pure. It is no wonder that the Bible was banned in certain places. What benefit and guidance would humanity get from reading these offensive stories?